chili sauce so what we're putting in this one then big bag of bird's eyes some finger chilies we've got left over two scotch bonnets one ghost chili that is paprika and extra hot chili powder going in it we're using chili infused rapeseed oil which I'm going to fry it all off in some passata to make it a bit like a hot chili garlic tomato sauce. A bit more smokiness with a bit of smoked paprika. Garlic, I've not got a lot. We've only got that left. And I wasn't going over for more. So we're going to use that in it. We're being lazy. And some fresh ginger. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to peel the ginger, chop it into pieces, peel the garlic. Chop these chilies up once I've took all the stalks off them all. Whoa, that's going to take ages. Uh, and then I'm going to blitz it in the processor. Just to get it ready for whacking into the oil. And we're doing it in a big wok. Because I've tried it before and it woks in that pan. <laughs> woks in that pan. Right, so I'm going to go down and prepare these. Um, I'm going to blitz it in there. I might show you that, I don't know yet. And then we'll go to the pan. Catching them out. So, all done. Now, it took me a while. Chilies combined, including the ghost chilies, the scotch bonnets, the long finger chilies, and the great whacking bag of bird's eyes. I counted them all. There's 155 chilies in there. 155. You can see the garlic chopped up roughly because it's going to get blitzed now and the lazy garlic in there and the ginger all chopped up. So we're going to blitz that. I may stop this because I have a feeling this is going to be a bit loud. So let's make sure that's sticking right. And there we have it. They're all chopped up, fine, ready to go in to the sauce. Look at them. Tell you what, though. Oh, does that smell strong. <coughs> right. They're done. We're now ready to go and make the sauce. Right then. Rapeseed oil in the pan ready. Let's whack that on. I'll put a bit more in as well because I want this to be a proper sauce consistency. A bit, uh, some oil in there. Um, what I'm also adding, which I didn't mention, I've just a last minute addition. I've got a whacking onion, roughly chopped, because again, we're going to blitz it. Once this is all done, we'll check the consistency and I'm probably going to get the hand blender and blitz it as well. I'm going to turn that down a bit now, I don't want them to burn. So, first off, we're going to cook these onions down a bit. Right, they've cooked down a bit, so let's add the chilies. Let's turn that down a bit now. Right, all the chilies in. So we'll fry them for a bit. Just cook a bit of the rawness out of them. This is where the Berlin song comes to mind. Takes me breath away. If you don't know what I'm talking about, obviously you're not as old as me. 
look it up, Berlin. The group, by the way, not the uh, the city. Turn that up now. Now, what I'm going to do here is add a bit more oil to this. Just to keep it cooking and frying. So I'm going to fry this for a few minutes, not too long, because I don't want the garlic to burn. The garlic will burn. Alright, that's nicely cooked off. Let's turn it down a tad again now. Turn it off. There we go. Turn it down so the garlic doesn't burn. Next stage. Smoked paprika. So give it a bit of smokiness. Oh, I love the smell. Oh, chilies, garlic, ginger and smoked paprika. That smells amazing, amazing. Then, normal paprika and extra hot chilli powder. I remember not to rub my eye because I'm using my fingers for this. And give that a stir. Cook that chilli powder out a bit. Oh, it's getting strong now. So that's that done. Next stage, we're going to add some salt. Salt is in. And also a bit of pepper. Thought we need it, but this is black pepper anyway, so it's not really hot. We've just had a bit of a peppery taste. And next, I'm going to add, just to add some sweetness, a bit of sweetener. And also some sugar. Not a lot of sugar because I don't have a lot of sugar sweet stuff. But this will just sweeten it up a tad. Stir that in. Oh, it does smell amazing. It really does. Can you imagine that? Leaving that now and cooking pasta and just stir that in it Whoa. yeah so now we're going to add which I didn't mention so I'll mention it now some vinegar normal white distilled vinegar quite a bit of this because this is to make the consistency once it's been blitzed what we'll do on that so we stir that in And finally, Passata. And what I'm going to do, all this that's in the bottom, now I'm going to fill the can with water and add that to it. So, one can washed all the, the grebs out of it, and that will now make the consistency. So 
So we'll give that a stir, stir it all in. I'm now going to simmer that, oh, I don't know, probably half an hour. And then what we're going to have to do is transfer it to a big saucepan. So I can use a hand blender because this is non-stick. And I don't want to scratch it up because it's the longest we've had a wok that's not been scratched or burnt. So I'm going to cook that half an hour ish and then we'll come back and I'll blitz it with a hand blender and then we're going to sit at the table which Fiona don't know yet because she's out on a bike and we're going to sit at the table and try it so I'll come back in a mo when we're ready for blitzing it so look at the colour of that I've actually left it for oh, just over an hour um, oils as you can see oils well the ends well <laughs> the oil yeah I know they're getting worse isn't they these jokes um, you can see the oil on the top now that means it's cooked and it's ready so we're going to transfer it into a big saucepan and we're going to blitz it right just look at the colour oh looks nice so there we go And there we have it. So I'm going to transfer that into a bottle for us to put in the fridge and use as and when. And we're also going to put some in a little bowl, sit at the table and have a first taste of it and see what it's like. We'll see you at the table. Right there, done. You saw what I put in it. I did add the vinegar to it and the sweetener and a bit of sugar, which you saw. So if you want to copy it, just watch it through and you'll see the bits I added extra that I didn't show you on the ingredients bit at the start. So, first up. Oh, that smells lovely. Do you know how many chilies went in? There no. you go. No. 155. You count them all? Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. Did you? I counted them as I was taking the tops off. <laughs> That's mainly bird's eyes and about 10. Finger chilies plus a ghost chili plus two scotch bonnets. Wow, you go first then. <laughs> Just smell that. Is it hot? No, that's awesome. Oh, that's got some afterburn. Oh la la. Oh la la. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes really nice with that garlic and ginger. Mm. The sweetness is there from the sweetener and the sugar and the passata, tomato, everything's there. You can taste it all. It's hot though. It's red hot. Nice, a really strong cheese. I dare have another dip. Mm -hmm. you got to try that, mm. definite. That is well nice. Ooh. I'm giving it too, that's hot. That has got some kick for bird's eyes. Mm. It tastes the ginger as well. Yeah, and garlic. You can see the consistency, it's not slushy. If you put more oil, um, you will get it more like your table sauces That's consistency. But That's that as it really is, I think is a good consistency. Mm, that's lovely. Because you don't want, there is quite a bit of oil running at the start, but you'll need more to get it in like a table sauce consistency. You have it too runny, it'll dribble out your burgers. Mm. Well, you don't yeah. want it too oily either. Yeah, that's no. nice, man, that's burning. Yeah. <laughs> that's a success. Yeah, perfect. Follow it all the way through and make your own. If you want to know where we got the big bags of bird's eyes, it was Asda. And they weren't too expensive, so pop in, get a big bag of bird's eyes and just do it with them if you want. Um, and you'll know when you're making it how much liquid you need to add. Job done. Lovely. Spicy and easy. Afterburner. Yes. Alright, see you later. See you later.